The source is here at the 20th annual walkathon to raise funds for arid recovery homes. Despite the rain, a number of walkers took on either the 2.5 or 10K route to support addiction and mental health programs in Welland, Thorold, and Fort Erie. We have an eight-bed male house in Thorold. We have an eight-bed male house in Fort Erie and a six-bed home in Welland. Uh, 22 beds all together and uh, we're uh, recovery homes for uh, post-treatment and uh, we do take uh, folks that are waiting to get into treatment. Uh, if the abstinence is their, is their goal, we're an abstinence-based uh, operation. We use the 12-step model for our programs. They can stay for up to nine months. You know, there's uh, minimal chores that they have to do. Everybody pays a nominal fee for uh, rent and basic needs. Uh, we try to uh, work with our folks and uh, hopefully get them from social assistance to the employment field again. Um, recovery is the goal, and once you have recovery and you have uh, a sound, uh, safe environment to live in, uh, it makes that, uh, that process a lot easier, a lot better uh, for the individual. You work at what is known as the Wish House, part of Arid Recovery Homes. What goes on at the Wish House and what is your role there? Well, my role is the addictions worker, so I'm really just care planning uh, their stay there and their care. Uh, what we do is we have ladies move in that are in recovery from addiction. So they're coming from treatment centers, they're coming from detox centers, they can self-refer. So what they're doing is coming for an extended stay, like anywhere from three to nine months. Some ladies have stayed a year, so they really get to... Um, practice living clean and sober, not just a short term, you know, get off the stuff and then you're on your way. So they really get to practice the life skills, what it's like daily to live without any substances. The Walk is Arid's biggest fundraiser. They also have a sober barbecue and dance in August and a golf tournament scheduled for this September. Well, we're only 33% funding uh, from the ministry, and so this is very, this is our biggest fundraiser that we can uh, uh, put into stuff like infrastructure. Uh, this year, for example, is marked for the a remodeled kitchen uh, because of health and safety in the woman's house. Last year, we did the the, the men's home in Fort Erie. Uh, and then we, last year, we put a furnace in. So these kinds of events, and as I said, this one is the biggest fundraiser that we hold. With six beds available at the Wish House in Welland, there is often a waiting list to get in. The women on that list receive support in the interim. We can help um, them find other agencies that can help them in the meantime before they can come to us, um, as in maybe recommending treatment to go to or um, something before they would come and live with us. Our, we're kind of like the last step before they would go back and live on their own, maybe get their kids back, uh, live with their families again. Former resident Mike looks forward to taking part in the walk every year. He credits Arid with turning his life around over 10 years ago. When I uh, came to Arid in uh, 2008, I was basically homeless. And uh, out of detox, I ended up at the Arid House. And uh, it offered counseling and a safe place and a safe environment for me to recover in. Arid gave me the opportunity to grow. And, uh, you know, and now for me to give back is such a, a blessing. There's such a stigma out there about uh, addiction and mental health. And, uh, you know, this just makes it more, we bring it out more into the community for the awareness, you know, that there's help for us. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to get all the people here. Besides raising funds, another reason for the walk each year is to raise awareness and break the stigma surrounding mental health and addictions. For information about Arid Recovery Homes, visit aridhomes.ca. Reporting for The Source in Welland, I'm Mike Balsam.